Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I am back and go ahead. I'm reading the title. Y'all are not going to like this. Too many so-called Christians are demon possessed. They come out by fasting and praying. That is the one thing that God is so real about. I mean, he's so real about everything, but I'm just going to tell it how it is. You want to know why the churches are not powerful and why evil is overtaking this world? Too many Christians have touched the unclean thing. You know, when God, and I'm going to take y'all on a journey, so walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God up in here. Let me tell y'all something. I couldn't understand why I had to be alone all the time. I couldn't understand, or I'm going here on a personal level so y'all can get how real it is. I couldn't understand why I couldn't marry who I wanted to. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me or who I thought I wanted to. I couldn't understand why I couldn't stay where God told me not to stay, even with it would, you know, I'm going here. I got to go. I can't, I can't even try to play, you know, like I was going to try to skip some things, but I can't even do that. I really want to stay in Louisiana with my dad. God said, Deanna, you can't because my dad is getting older. I'm going somewhere with this y'all. And I cried. I said, God, you know, my dad's 73. He said, yes. He said, but I need you to understand that I need you to be who I need you to be. And y'all got to understand where I'm coming from. So I was like, okay. And so the things that God asks you to do is because of who you are in the spirit. The things that God will ask you not to do is who you are in the spirit as well. Because guess what? You have to be effective for God. Come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. Walk with me. And at one point I said, God, I don't know if I could do all this. It's so heavy. He said, Deanna, it's not even about you. He said, I have placed gifts inside of you. That's not even for you, sister. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God will tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. He said, so I need you to gird up your lines like a woman of God and do what I've asked you to do. Minister to my people. Don't lie to my people. Stand with my people. Gird my people. Pray for my people. Fast for my people. Say what I tell you to say to my people. Okay. Then I'm going to have to go a little deeper. Christians are so-called Christians, saints, believers, whatever you want to call yourself these days. You don't get to do what you want to do just because you think you can. You don't get to go where you, where God tell you not to go. You don't get to be with who God tell you not to be with. You don't touch what God say. Don't touch. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Some of you all look at evil stuff on TV and wonder why you ain't got no anointing. Some of y'all sleep with people when you know you're not supposed to be fornicating. Yeah, I'm going here tonight or today, wherever. I feel the power of God up in here. Some of you talk crazy when you know God didn't tell you to cuss nobody out. Some of you drink and don't tell me nothing because I know some of you do personally. I used to do it. What I didn't do. That's why I have a heavy anointing in my life because I stopped doing it. God, God was saying, Deanna, when you going to be real? So I'm asking all y'all, when you going to be real? When you going to be real for real? And, and, and the same things that you preach about that you actually live it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because that's why we're not seeing power in the churches. Half of y'all not living it. The other half pretend to live it. And the other half scared of demons. Because you know once you stop living it, that spiritual warfare going to start and you scared. Yeah, I said it. So what y'all do is y'all play this little game, the in-between game, the surface game. I'm going to do just enough so people can pour into me, you know, money and everything and think that I'm, I, I'm walking with God. I'm going to do just enough. People see through you. Let me tell you something what I learned a long time ago. People see right through you. You can say what you want. They see, especially if they have a heavy anointing, they see everything, honey. God tells your business. Now, what God will never do is tell you to go and ruin somebody's reputation and all that. No, no, no. That's God's job, exposure. Except if you are a prophet. Now, if God tell you to say it, does say it, Lord, well, you got to do what you got to do. But God has never given a person the ability to go ahead and say, well, I'm expose them on Facebook. I'm a dude. God ain't never told you to do that. You are a liar. Now, when it's a does say it, the Lord, I had, I've had had to do that. That's real. But it's still done with love. It's not done to where you're trying to break nobody's spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's done to help. Come on, somebody. Because when, because God says, maybe they'll be ashamed of their ways and return to me. Some of y'all have nasty attitudes. How you going to be a preacher and a teacher 
And yet you get mad at the drop of a dime if somebody tell you something or don't tell you anything. Oh, come on, somebody, I'm going somewhere. Then the other half that you're annoying, y'all like to play these old stupid games. And notice when I'm saying, I'm talking about even the um, video games. How are you going to be shooting and killing people in a game when, when your hand's supposed to stay clean? I know you always a game. Is it, is it just a game? I'm going somewhere. Is it just a game or are you opening yourself up with spiritual warfare? Y'all ain't ready for me today. Y'all ain't going to like me up in here today. And I ain't judging. I'm telling you what thus say it, the Lord. Y'all doing all kind of stuff for money. Talking about it. God bless me. God is never going to tell you to do something to get something that's not of him. In a way that's not of him. God is going to tell you to sleep with nobody for money. God is going to tell you to lie to nobody for money. God is going to tell you to steal no money. God is going to tell you to lie on your taxes. So stop playing games. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. God is going to tell you to get on Facebook and talk about PayPal on me. Everybody PayPal on me. You pimp in the Bible. Preacher, teacher, apostle. And you know, you know sooner or later your time coming, right? Oh, let me tell you something. You know what I'm blessed? I'm blessed that God didn't expose me in the way that he's going to expose some of y'all. He let me get that thing straight. He said, Deanna, quit playing with me. Now, he did expose me one time. I told y'all about that one time when I called myself drinking and I had caught that DUI. You know, DUIs be in the paper, right? So, yeah, he exposed me, but not hard like he can finna do some of you because y'all playing to the extent to where y'all think God's somebody to play with. I learned that a long time ago. You can't play with God. As a matter of fact, let's, let's keep this real proper. You can't play with his people. You are crazy if you think that you can do something to a child of God and get away with it. Don't you know it's coming back sooner or later? That's just reality. That's sowing and reaping, honey. You read that in the Bible all the time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The world have came into the church and told the church how to dress, how to act, and what to do. And now everybody have lost their mind. The church is worldly. That is not supposed to be, thus saith the Lord. For God is a holy God. He has a holy Bible, holy spirit, and holy word. Ain't no hell and none of that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got to understand what we really, what's going on. The devil is right up in the churches now. So now you got people that are truly demon possessed. I see it all the time. Now I'm going to have to say something. I hope nobody get offended. But if you get offended, hey, go to God. I went to this church here in Augusta. And I've said this testimony. I just never said the name. And I still don't feel released to say the name. But it's one of the most popular churches here. I said one. And I don't know. Yes, I do know. They have a spirit of lust in that so heavy. I felt it. But I thought, okay, I'm cool. I was seal myself with the blood of Jesus. Everything fine. I came home and the dream that I had scared the heck out of me. I dreamed that me and the pastor was doing all kind of stuff. Y'all know what I'm saying. I was so scared. I woke up. I, I started repenting. I said, God, 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 you know, God was like, that's because you went under that stuff. Y'all ain't ready for me right now. That scared me. That scared me. I said, God, he said, that's them spirits in them churches. Y'all ain't ready. I'm not saying every church is bad. That's not what I'm going to do. But I'm going to tell you, it's too many spirits. It's too many spirits. Y'all doing too much. That's not of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And yet you got people on Facebook, Crookbook, and all acting like you know God. Let me tell you something. None of us don't really know God. We know of God because God is too big. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How can you count the years of God, the knowledge of God, the wisdom of God, the power of God? Meaning that y'all be trying to act like y'all know who real and who's not. Oh, I'm going here. Pastor, preacher, apostle, teacher. Do you know who is the church? Because the church is not a building. That is just where you're supposed to condone and get together and, and all that, which y'all do. We are the church. That means when two or more are gathered in my spirit, then there I am. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all stop manipulating people. Because God is calling people to their own mandate, their own assignment. Every assignment is not in the church. As a matter of fact, God did that with the uh, 12 apostles. He didn't go to church and look for them. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here. And I know it's tight, but it's right. Come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, these people were unchurched. Y'all ain't ready for me. I wonder why he did that. I, I wonder why he didn't go to the Pharisees and Sadducees camp and get 12 people. I think he was teaching us something. Y'all sitting up there acting like if a person is not going to church, they're not real. The devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. Hallelujah. One for the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But I do know what God is saying. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. 
Y'all better stop touching the unclean thing. What is the unclean thing? Anything that breaks the commandment of God, the spirit of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God over your life. You know you ain't supposed to be cursing, committing adultery, all this other stuff. God never told you to do that. God is not going to tell you to sin to get in. The devil is a lie. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And y'all wonder why. And then y'all have the question to ask, well, can Christians be possessed? Uh, yeah, you looking at porno. What you think going to enter in? As a matter of fact, I just told you what happened. When I went under that, all that lust that was up in there, I had a whole dream. And it was so real. It was so real. Scared me. So spirits are real. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because remember, we are open, especially if you're fasting, especially if you are a child of God and you're powerful. On any note, don't you understand your spirit is open? So your spirit is always listening. So your spirit is receiving. When I say opening, receiving. Receiving spirits. That's how people get possessed. That's why you have to watch what you hear, what you look at, what you say, what you read, what you listen to. I don't let everybody know. Everybody can't feed me. Everybody can't feed me. And I mean, I don't care. Let me tell you something. And it's going to sound so bad. Most of the people that I do listen to are dead. Dr. Moss Monroe, which was my mentor. Prophet Nathan, Nathan Simmons, um, Bishop G.E. Patterson. I'm not saying that people don't talk a good game and some of their preaching. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. But I like, I need that Holy Ghost. Oh, come on, somebody. I need somebody that know what I'm going through. I need, I need the fire of God, the power of God, the presence of God. I, I, I'm not going to let nobody play with my spirit. I don't know about you. This is my lifeline to my life. I can't play with this. And I'm not going to let nobody else play with it. I don't care if it was me pertaining to you all. You don't let nobody play with your lifeline. Are you serious? Because you don't know what's entering in. And let me tell you something. You got to ask God that question when you meet people, when you listen to people, when you read about people, or whatever the case may be. God, is this yours? Father God, show me their spirit because people talk a good game. As a matter of fact, the devil knows the scripture. He knows how to preach, teach. As a matter of fact, guess what? He was the choir director, so you know he got the, he got the music industry just sold up, right? Y'all know that. Yeah, y'all should know it. Because like my grandmother say, if it hit your feet before it hit your, hit your heart, that ain't gospel. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'm just being real. Not trying to bash or anything. I got to tell it like God said to tell it because people are dying. People are dying spiritually and physically. And, and guess what? The devil's not playing. The Bible says he walks around seeking whom he may devour. He's not playing with us. Y'all think this a game? Go back to the oracles of God. Keep it simple. Do the right thing before God. Treat people right. Stop mistreating people. Stop getting offended over every little thing a person do or don't do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Be mindful. The same grace and mercy that God extends you every day, extend it to your brother and your sister. But now we are commanded to tell you the truth in love. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just being real with y'all. Y'all better stop touching the unclean thing. Because remember Saul. Remember King Saul, because that's what spirit is on this earth. King Saul. Saul. Saul listened to the people. God poor Jonathan killed. Jonathan didn't deserve that, but he followed his daddy. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not following nobody. I don't care who you are. If you are not of God, I'm not following you. I'm going to love you, but I'm not following you. Oh, y'all better catch what I just said. All right, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Much love. Much respect, but I'm telling you right now, stop touching the unclean thing. I don't care who it is. I don't care what it is. Gird your spirit. Guard your spirit. Guard your anointing, said the Lord. The enemy is trying to taint you. He's sending people. As a matter of fact, before I even got up on here, don't y'all know I know when they send people at me? I see you. And this for this for you that all be trying to come at me sideways, upside down. Don't you know even if I miss it, God will wake me up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and tell me who you are? Ah, uh, but I, but I know you got to do what you got to do, huh? Well, so do I. So guess what? If it's on, then it's on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all know I'm on one. I still on one. I still on one. I still on one. Cause I fa I'm fasting every day. So I still on one lately. Shoes. Ain't nobody playing. Them demons got the right one. You ain't got the wrong one. You got the right one. Cause you won't get saved messing with me. <laughs> All right, you guys, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.